Welcome to the How to Write a Book podcast, the show that helps you plan, write, and publish your book, even if you're a beginner or just feel like one. Now, for your host, she's written over a dozen books and helps others bring their books to life. Here she is, Maciel. All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to the How to Write a Book podcast, you guys. Um, It is NaNoWriMo Day 6, and yes, we are behind. (laughs) We are behind, y'all. But you know what? Just like writing, we're going to keep moving forward, and that's okay. So let's do this. All right, I'm finally going to get to what I actually wanted to do this year in National Novel Writing Month, um, because uh, like last year, what I did was... I was able to kind of do like a, a prompt and also um, a, oh gosh, now I'm just tip of my tongue, the prompts along with inspiration, essentially. And although I, I love doing that and I love to encourage and I love to give to you guys, to give you the inspiration to know that you can reach your goals, I wanted to do something a little bit differently this year. I just hadn't had a moment to actually prep. So now that we're here, I wanted to let you know that for the rest of the remaining days for NaNoWriMo, what I'm doing is I'm going to be tackling tips per genre. So whether you're writing on romance or a horror or memoir, fantasy, a graphic novel, how-to and self-help, I'm going to be doing three tips per category throughout the rest of NaNoWriMo. And we'll have three episodes per genre, just like the format that we're doing here, which is essentially, uh, we're just making it really short. We want to encourage you and boost you forward and not take up so much of your time so that you're not staring at the blank page, listening to me. Instead, you're saying, okay, I got what I needed. Now I'm going to keep writing. And just in case you can hear the music in the background, it is now holiday music time in my family. Yes, I know it's technically it's November 11th, um, but my family loves to celebrate Christmas as soon as Halloween is over. So the Christmas music just starts blaring right away. So you might be hearing that. All right, everybody. With that said, welcome to episode 126. Um, and it's NaNoWriMo day six. All right. We are diving into first romance. And I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up here. We'll be doing romance. After that, we'll be doing horror. Then we'll be doing fantasy. After that, memoir. Then how to slash self-help. And we will be ending with graphic novels. Now, there's so many genres and subgenres within um the writing and publishing world. However, with the lack of time that we have and just the multitude of subjects that we can tackle, I decided that those might be the best ones to at least give you that that step forward. All right. Romance. What is tip number one for today? So now I've said this before in the podcast, but I want to reiterate this in case you're new to the show. Um, so romance is knowing what you want in the book. Now, what does this mean? It really comes down to feelings. Romance is a literature of hope. It is, you know, nicknamed the literature of hope. Now, what kind of feelings do you want to evoke? Now, when you think about this, it's not just the feeling of, oh, they're in love. Yay. Run off into the sunset happily ever after. It's also about the scenery. It's about the characters. It's about the environments of their, their home, their environment of their mind of those people around them. You know, we want to feel what you want us to feel. So for example, you know, if you have a character who has gone through something so hard, you want to make that reader feel that hardness, you know, that that despair even. So this way when they come to the end of the book, they feel that light at the end of the tunnel, the sun is rising, you know, and the same thing for scenery, you know, do you want it at a beach? Do you want it um, in the desert? You know, what kind of emotions and feelings will you be evoking with that? Now, why is this important? Why is this central here and not anywhere else? Oh, it is. It is important to other places. But with romance, we really do rely on sensuality. You know, there is the erotic literature, which is kind of not what we're tackling here. But erotic literature kind of strays more towards the physicality right than right now. You will often find in books, they don't really dive into the senses, which is totally okay. That's why that genre is there. It has its own specifications. But we're talking kind of about romance in general, which has a lot to do with, you know, the exoticness of sceneries or the way that landscapes can mesmerize you. You know, let's think about Outlander. I mean, gosh, I mean, not not just the romance in that 
series, but why do we love it so much? You know, because of the environment, what the environment does for us, the the mystique of it, you know, it gives us a certain feeling. So know what you want when it comes to writing your book. And remember, you don't have to agonize over this. It doesn't have to be a 30 page thesis paper on what exactly you want to feel, but let's have an idea as to what kind of emotions you want to have for your readers and how you might accomplish that. Okay. So, you know, that's tip number one. Thank you so much for joining us here on NaNoWriMo Day 6, um, episode 126. And y'all, we'll see you for tips two and three for romance. And then after that, we'll dive into horror. All right. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the other side. Hey there, writer. Thank you for listening to the How to Write a Book podcast with your host, Masier Valenzuela. If you like the show, we'd be happy if you left a review. For more information on writing and the writer's life, go to www.themasiel.com. That's www.themasiel.com. We'll see you on the other side.